I've been thinking about something. We have so many cool gadgets nowadays. iPads and laptops and smart mobile phones. So how come we can hardly ever use them at school? Who decides that we, the people are supposed to learn, can't even use the tools we're most comfortable with? Use of these gadgets is abbreviated to ICT, Information and Communication Technology. In fact, many people believe that children learn much better by using ICT, but many local authorities struggle to provide their students with this. The problem is not the actual hardware. The schools are full of it. The problem is how to use ICT smartly to improve learning. But why is better learning important? Well, Norwegians like to think they are the best. However, the truth is that even though Norway spends more money on schools than most countries, Norwegian students score average on international PISA and TIMSS tests. Why is it like that? And what are the consequences? Norway currently makes a good living from its oil. However, it could all be gone by as soon as 2030. People say that after the oil, we will live off knowledge. As far as I can see, this means that more of us will have to get a good education. But with so many of our young people dropping out of high school, can we really claim that we're on the right path to become a knowledge-based society? It doesn't look like it. Are we just expecting our students to suddenly realize that they are the nation's future and get their act together? Or should we try to make schools more relevant and motivating for students so that this happens naturally? If more students learn better, would that possibly motivate them to continue and not drop out of high school? Wouldn't that actually help to create a knowledge-based society? Okay, if we agree that society benefits from improved learning, how do we reach this goal? Well, then we're back to the gadgets. I believe it would be smart to take advantage of students' interest in ICT. Computers can teach us to learn things in different ways. And they also make learning advanced concepts easier, if that's what you want. Imagine, instead of reading about DNA molecules and cramming in facts you don't really understand, why not visualize, simulate and animate the DNA molecule? Wouldn't this make school more exciting? If you actually understand what you learn? How about math? Wouldn't learning improve if formulas were brought to life using dynamic graphs? Rather than struggling with cryptic X's and Y's? And how about other subjects? Would it inspire us to have all the information in the world at our fingertips just a few mouse clicks away? I think it would. I feel excited just thinking about it. So what's holding us back? Well, ICT is a part of the curriculum as the fifth basic skill. That's a good start. But the curriculum itself is no guarantee. Because nothing happens to those who don't follow it accurately. Therefore, it's probably more important to get the actual teachers into the idea of using ICT in their lessons. Could increased use of ICT in teacher training encourage teachers to use ICT in their own lessons? And what if they were given the time and resources to keep their ICT knowledge up to date? Wouldn't that pave the way for smarter use of ICT in education? Could we, by using ICT smartly, improve learning, motivation, and then results? If we could do that, wouldn't we be better suited to create the knowledge-based Norway of the future?